Hey there, welcome back to another video. I am Jamie and this is my kitchen. <laughs> I am Jamie and this is my kitchen. <laughs> anyway, so today I did a little grocery shopping. It's that time of the month. And rather than going to Trader Joe's, like I actually wound up at Trader Joe's today and I was like, you know, I'm not quite ready to go grocery shopping. So I did a couple other things first and then I was like, you know what? I wanted to go to Wheatsville, which is a local co-op here in Austin. Um, I've shopped there a couple of times and I love the layout of the store. It's obviously just very simple, a small store. I love the people that they hire, and the fact that they are sourcing locally, it's a cooperative, so an excellent, excellent store in my mind. Sounds like a good idea to me. So without further ado, let's check out what's in my shopping bag. Obviously, obviously I shop at Trader Joe's because I have a lot of Trader Joe's bags. Okay, so the first thing I've got is this little bag full of shroomies. I am not the, oh my gosh, poor guy, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> the fact that I reached into that bag, if you, <laughs> if you know me, you should probably mail me $100. Because that took a lot, that took a lot of bravery. Some mandarins, ginger, I've got some carrots. I'm gonna put putting all of this in my little produce bowl. So yeah, it was a great time in the store today. I don't know how I could spend so much time grocery shopping, but maybe because it's just a pleasurable experience. I'm just like taking my time, hanging out. This guy's missing a leg. Where's your leg at? So yeah, um, the meals that I had in mind, um, well, it was the meals that I had in mind for this trip is a creamy mushroom risotto. It's vegan and gluten free. Oh my goodness, my bowl's getting nice and full. Seven day vegan challenge. <laughs> but really, like, if you know me, I say that a lot, but hopefully you'll get to know me. But my vegan journey has definitely been one of the most difficult things that I've experienced. That's a whole nother video for another day. But having something like the seven day vegan challenge is great to kind of help try and shift gears again, get you back on track. So I've got some coriander or what we call cilantro here south of the border. Um, some kale. This is lassi natto. I am not familiar with different kale species, but we've got some of that so I can chop up and, okay, so one cool thing about this um, mushroom risotto is that one of, she links a, I will go ahead and link this blog down below, but in this recipe, the vegetable broth is actually, that she uses is actually linked in the recipe. In this vlog, the vegetable broth that she uses in the mushroom risotto is actually linked into this risotto recipe. So I snagged all the ingredients for that too so I can make this broth. And um, yeah, that's what this kale is for, this red cabbage. I've got some local mushrooms some celery for this broth and also to juice. I've got quite a few 
see if it's that. And so these are all my raw foods. And now for my dry goods. First thing I grabbed is some water. Something about alkaline water. I've got the rice for the risotto. Some wild Atlantic wakame. Pardon me if I butchered that. It's in sesame. I got a little, a few of these actually. Um, a few of these lotus foods. Um, ramen little packets. These are... I mean, they're not 39 cents like ramen, but they're still less than a dollar fifty, I believe. So I thought that was a really good idea. I got this one, which is oh wow, I'm seeing a theme here with this wakame um, seaweed, and this has brown rice, also gluten free. The millet and brown rice, which is red miso soup, and. This forbidden rice um, with me so sweet. So I'll probably take those to lunch, or take those to work with me for lunch, and then I'll just have my um, my risotto when I get home, since I usually work the morning shift. Meatsville was having a sale on these. Tasty by organic brown rice packages. So it was three for five dollars. So you can't really go wrong for that. Like, as much as I'm trying to stay away from packaged foods, I'm noticing that like I have 50-50. Even though I think that the packaged items, you know, are they are good. They are, you know, there's not too many ingredients. It's all Let's see, black, brown, white rice flours, the white miso powder, which is cultured soybeans, rice and salt, white onion powder, tamarind powder, powdered mushroom, dried parsley, dried carrots. So I think that even though it's packaged, we're making strides here. What else do we have? Ah, some of this hot or cold cereal. Musoi hot or cold cereal. I guess that's the brand. 14 grams or more for serving a full grain. Wow. Wow. But really though, I compared this to another, one of its competitors, which had like the cutest marketing. Like I, it was the first thing I grabbed off the shelf, but then I was like, let me check the labels on these. Um, that one said it had zero added sugars. This one says it has one gram of added sugar. Still simple ingredients. Um, it's got 18 grams of carbs. It looks pretty good. Three grams of protein. Um, so I, of course, forgot to get some almond milk to go with this, but I have a couple of mason jars, so I'm just gonna, oh, one of the key ingredients, this is kind of random, one of the key ingredients, or I don't wanna say key ingredients, but one of the ingredients listed is uh, pumpkin seeds. And I was recently looking for like the most dense sources of plant-based protein, and pumpkin seeds is like a top source. So when I saw this in here, it's nice to know that I'm getting a sprinkle of that here and there throughout uh, my, my diet. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Another thing that I got, which these are so bad, this is probably not good at all, but I know that I love these pad ties, so one of these bad boys. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, I got some garlic. This Thrive Algae Oil. According to this bottle, it has 75% less saturated fat than olive oil, and it is the highest level of monosaturated fat, which monosaccharides are good fats. Oh my gosh, I'll never forget my freshman year biology song. Like, I'm gonna save myself, I'm gonna spare myself the drama, but it definitely helped me to remember that. Some coconut aminos. And this custom cosmic kombucha. It's Wheatsville Pear of the Dog. <laughs> so This has prickly pear, lime, orange, olive juice, sea salt, and agave. I hope this is so good because honestly, I forgot to refrigerate it. So hopefully I don't get sick. Actually, I will get sick. <laughs> we have to change our thoughts, change our thoughts. And then I got this vegetarian chili seasoning in case I want to make something taste like chili. <laughs> so yeah. Now I'm going to prepare all of the vegetables for the broth. And once I get that broth going, I'll probably also, you know, I'll have to wait to get the risotto cooking. So honestly, the risotto might be a task for when I get out of work tomorrow but I have to get this broth knocked out tonight. So that is my Wheatsville haul, my groceries for the week. I'm guaranteed with all of this rice and rice ramen that I have that I'm definitely gonna be set. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it makes me one happy camper and subscribe, tell all your friends about the weird girl who keeps making videos in her kitchen. <laughs> and until next time.